Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? Horcrux here and I think it's time we had a real talk. So this message is going to be about the ESO community as a whole. Guys, we have to put our differences aside and come together as a community. So everyone and their mother has seen the video about me. It is what it is. I apologize for what I did, but what you don't know is my side to the story. In this video, we're not going to cover my side to the story. I'm going to tell you what happened and how one simple misclick can lead to a complete deformation and dismantling of his channel. So if you guys are watching this video and you would like to interview me, I know Kuro has already asked me for an interview. I would really love to reach out to Ness so he can get my side of the story, but this video is not going to be about me covering my ass or backpedaling or trying to explain what I did, what I did, because there's no point in it. When I post that video, it's going to lose no matter what, because there's so many haters right now that it's just going to get buried and it's going to be negative and nothing good will come of it. It's just going to add fuel to the fire and prove to the dev team, the ESO community, that the PVP community is super toxic. And so why should you do anything for us? And that's the point I want to make in this video here is that there's no such thing as a PVP community and a PVE community. We all should be looked at as a whole. We're all in this together, guys. Literally everyone, even the dev team. And I know in the past, I have given the dev team a really, really hard time. I personally attack Rich Lambert, which is really terrible on my part. But let me tell you guys something. Being on the receiving end of all the hate and all the ridicule and all the misconceptions, it really changes your perspective on how you view the community, the game, and as people as a whole. I feel really bad for Ridge. He is the figurehead. He is the one who has to take all the heat. Here the past few days, I have taken so much heat. I have taken huge blows to my channel. And for what? Nothing. The dev team has done an amazing job of keeping this game up, adding new content for everyone. Yes, it's not the content you may or may not want, but it's content nonetheless. So you cannot let one person's bad actions, for example, the post everyone's seen it on tweets about buying respect scrolls and cures and vampirism, all that in the crown store. You cannot let one single mistake ruin the entire image of a company and all the good that they have done. Look at me and my channel, for example. I've done a lot of good. I've helped out a lot of people. I'm always helpful in Discord. I never really have a bad thing to say about anyone unless it's just some playful banter, some com competitive banter. And I want my channel to be a prime example of this. Always strive to do better. Better yourself. Better your community. So my message to you guys is give the ESO dev team, give the ESO community, the PvP community, a PvE community, lighten up. This is a game at the end of the day in which we all should enjoy. We play the Elder Scrolls Online to get away from our everyday life. You should not bring real world issues into ESO. This is an escapism. This is how you get away from reality. This is how cope. I myself, when I grew up, I had nothing besides video games or drugs. I mean, that's why I told my mom, I gave her the ultimatum one day. I'm like, listen, it's either video games or drugs. And video games was my escapism. It saved my life. So having this opportunity to do gaming full time, I'm trying this for a year, mind you. I have an engineering background, a lot of minors, a lot of things I could be doing right now. But money is not a driving factor for me. Me building a community is my driving factor having a legacy to pass on maybe to my kids or even my little brother who's up and coming by the way he he's good man he's good he's good but uh, when he gets 13 just wait but enough about that so for everyone who thinks that content creators are just in it for the money let me tell you something right now guys you're not gonna make a lot of money from ESO this is a passion project at the end of the day okay so the next time you hear some negative comments about the dev team or what is said on the forums or what is said on anyone else's channel guys please Take that information with a grain of salt. You never know the true story of what's going on. And again, I will reiterate what I said at the beginning of the video. If anyone would like to interview me, Ness, Kuro, anyone, I'll answer all the questions that you want, but I will not post a video bashing any other channel, unlike some other content creators. And let me just go on record and say, I appreciate all of the interactions and engagements I've received in the comments. I have received a lot of support comments. Of course, I have a lot of negative comments provided from other channels, which is against TOS, by the way, just keep that in mind if you want to send malicious people to your channel to defamate a community and harass people in your Discord, as well as your comments, as well in the game that is against TOS, and yeah, be careful. Just trying to spread a little bit of awareness about how YouTube actually works, and trust me, Karma is a biatch. She will come back to bite you in the butt big time. In closing, guys, this is all I really have to say. Look forward to a video about me going over all the sets on the PTS, on kind of theory craft while I am doing the sets on the PTS. We aren't going to be doing it live because 
I want to actually create a video for you guys to watch and to enjoy and to make sure I don't miss any details. I have a bad habit of when I do things on stream. I don't really think about what I'm saying. There's a lot of uh and um and stuttering and just a lot of time wasted and you don't really get the information that you guys are looking for. And that's all I really had to say in this video, guys. Um, a huge shout out to my patrons and also my community members. You guys have been the best support I've ever had. You guys are like family to me. I really appreciate each and every single one of you. And guys, before you go, please tell someone you love them. This has been Horcrux. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.